Here we have a vintage Formula One crash helmet made from genuine Harris tweed. Imagine doing 160 miles an hour wearing that. I've got the need for speed, man. Not the need for tweed. Those guys must have had ball bearings of steel. No gadgets, no computers, no testing. Gentlemen, there's a time for testing and a time for racing. So what are we doing today? Racing! You sure about this, Ed? Quite sure, gentlemen. Woohoo! Cool. <laughs> What's going on? You are having a laugh, mate. Now, as you may have noticed, your cars have both been fitted with limiters. You call this racing? I call it test racing. You can race and I can test. Perfect. You can't be freaking serious. I've never been more freaking serious in my life, Lewis. Now, please press button S on your new steering wheel. At the end of the chicane, turn left. You've added a sat-nav? Oh, it's so much more than that. Well done. You're doing really well, Jensen. You'll notice the motivational assistant automatically senses when you need pepping up. Driver energy levels low. Dispensing nourishment. Hmm. That needs a little work. Nice. Now my car smells like a sausage. Chill out, man. Chill out initiated. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Well, let's make things a little more challenging, shall we? <laughs> Isn't this ingenious? Yeah. Now, how do I turn it off? Must be this red button. Uh, don't touch that. That's just an experimental reverse gear. So, does that have a limiter on it, too? Of course not. <laughs> Why on earth would anyone put a limiter on a reverse gear? <laughs> of course. I never go forward again. Oh dear, it's happened again. Caution, vehicle reversing. Caution, vehicle reversing. Nigel, time to deploy the traculator, don't you think? Ratchet, time off to lunch. Good luck getting out. <laughs> 